In prior versions of AutoCAD, we've been able to edit polylines and reverse the order of their vertices. And this has been very useful for things like toolpath generation, where the starting or the ending of the polyline segment really does matter. However, as we see in this case, flipping the vertices around doesn't have the expected result of transporting the width from this end over to this end. AutoCAD 2013 introduces a new system variable that's called P-Line Reverse Widths. By changing this from its default value of 0 to the new value of 1, the editing treatment for reverse on the polyline will now do what you'd expect, yielding a result like this. So really, there's not much to using this. You just have to know where it is and what the variable values would be. Again, that system variable is p-line reverse widths, and this will affect the way that polyline reversal operates when you're editing polylines.